Hey friends, it's Dwight. I'm back again this morning. Um, I'm gonna do another pour. So the one I did yesterday, it didn't fare well as it dried. Um, I'm thinking it's the Amsterdam paint um, because the Artist Loft never dries like this, at least for me. So I'm gonna go upstairs in just a minute and show you the dried results. I'm gonna pour over that today because I'm going to still use the same mixture, but just use a lot smaller amount of the Amsterdam paints um, that I will be mixing in with the Artist Loft. And there's my cat Cassius <laughs> there to say hello. So we're gonna keep experimenting. Um, yeah, and if this doesn't work, I have another brand of paint that I haven't used, so we'll give that a shot, maybe not today, but uh, we'll try again in the near future. Okay, guys, I appreciate your patience. This is a learning curve, and if you have any suggestions, I've gotten a lot of um, input and a lot of thoughts um, I've used a lot of the paints that people have suggested. Uh, I'm not quite sure where to go from here. So if you have any kind of um, secrets and you feel like you want to share, feel free to either let me know in the notes below or you can email me at dwightpours at yahoo.com. Okay, guys, I'm going to go upstairs, figure out what paint colors I'm going to use, and we're going to get started soon. Thanks. Okay, friends, here I am back in my studio. Um, so I hope you can see what I'm looking at as the um, paint didn't do too well. So let me move in and show you what I'm talking about. See, it's, it's all fragmented. Now, the exterior isn't too bad. Well, yeah, it's, it's bad. <laughs> so I'm thinking it's, it's got to be the Amsterdam. Um, that's all I can think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna pour over this, it's a little wet there, but that's okay. And I'm going to um, try a little bit less Amsterdam maybe and see what we can get. Okay, friends, so that was very disappointing. I was really excited yesterday when I left my studio um, and came back, even after a couple of hours, it looked fine, but I went to bed last night. So when I started noticing this down here, Okay, so the struggle is real. We're gonna keep going at it and um, we'll see what we can do. Okay, guys, hold on. I'm gonna mix my paints, we'll get started. Okay, guys, here we are back in my studio. So, okay, um, I'm gonna flip this around. And the reason I'm doing that, because when I poured yesterday, the weight of the paint's over here. So, I want to make sure it's sort of even because the weight of the paint's gonna end up over here. Just double checking, making sure everything's level. Okay, so I have Artist Loft Soft Body White here. Um, just mixed nice and thin. Let's see if I can show you without spilling you, spilling. Actually, I might have to add just a little bit more water in there. Um, the other two colors I have is Deco Arts Americana Peacock Teal and Blue Harbor. I will show you those in just a second. So sometimes when the paint sits as I'm mixing, um, <laughs> I got a little too much water in here, it, thick, it can thicken up. So I like to go back and just stir them up at the last minute. Okay, I'm just gonna put this one down before I spill it. So this is the Peacock Teal. And this is the Blue Harbor. Sort of a, sort of a purpley blue. Okay. Okay, friends, so we'll give it another shot today. See how we do. I'm gonna pour like I poured yesterday. Just gonna mix my paints up real quick here and then we'll get moving. Okay. When I started doing Dump and Swirls, I based them off of Melly D. If you haven't seen some of her videos on the Dump and Swirl, you probably need to go back about five years or so, maybe even six. She did a handful of them and they were all with DecoArt Americana brand paints, um, Artist Loft, acrylic flow when that was a thing and a little bit of Liquitex pouring medium and water. She didn't use Floetrol. So I've been using Floetrol um, 
to do these pores. So she always started with white on the bottom, I believe. <laughs> Probably should go back and watch. Um, and we're just going to dump the other colors on top. This is sort of what a dump and swirl is. You kind of dump your paints. I like to do that because I want it to mix in. A little bit of the peacock teal. And, you know, it, the, the order that you pour your colors is really up to you. Depending on what I have, sometimes I like to do the darker ones on the bottom, um, but that's not always the case. Um, and sometimes the ones that are on the bottom, the colors are the ones that show up um, like around the periphery of the negative space. Okay, so here's my black paint concoction. We'll see if it does any better today. I thinned it, it's nice and thin. Boy, hopefully it's enough. Okay, you can see the reaction. That's always good. That's the Artist Loft uh, Soft Body White. Okay. Fingers crossed. Just bringing it down over the corners and edges. All right, I'm getting a reaction. Yes, oh my gosh. Over the last corner, there we go. Look, holy cannoli. Okay. That selled up quickly. And I don't have any paper towels to wipe my hands off. Okay, so, yeah, look at that. So I just want to kind of get any of those air bubbles out. Now this is looking better than they did yesterday. The cells are looking more like the cells that I'm used to seeing. Um, it's really filling in. So, get my torch, just make sure I pop some bubbles and sometimes that allows the rest of these cells to expand. folks, what you're looking at is this is filled in in real time. So, what does that mean? Well, it looks like that maybe I got the formula down. I've got some interesting looking cells, but that's cool. I'll show you when we do the walkthrough in a couple of minutes here. So I am just cleaning my stir sticks. And what I'm gonna do is gonna pick everything up, gonna walk away, and we're gonna come back. I'm gonna put this on time lapse. This one seem like it's got a lot more to go. Got through here. Okay, it's looking good. Guys, so I'm gonna put it on time lapse and uh, we'll come back in about 15 20 minutes. We'll see you soon. Okay, friends, I'm back after about, I don't know, 35 to 45 minutes or so. 
I have to say I'm, I am pleased. I see better results in the cells than I did yesterday. Um, see if I can show you up close. Yeah, and the negative space um, is looking fine. You know, touch-ups as need be. But other than that, I think, I think, I think, I think that maybe I have something here. So listen, it is, oh, what time is it? It's around 10.30 in the morning. I am going to leave this for a few hours. I have um, a lunch date, and then I will come back. And I will see if the integrity of the cells held up over the next few hours. If it did, then bingo, we have a, a good solution here. So I'm going to just put this on pause for now. I will come back later and we'll finish up the video. Okay, guys, we'll see you in a couple hours. Okay, guys, I'm walking down to my studio. It's been several hours since I left. So... I have not looked in. Going to be looking at it with me. First time. Oh. Uh. Well, well, wait a minute. No. Ah. So frustrating. There we go. See. Now these look better down here than they did in the last painting, but. Uh, it's doing the same thing. So guys, I don't have a solution at this point. Um, again, this side, sorry, it's drying up a little bit there. This side looks pretty good. Um, it's just as we get towards the black in the negative space, I've got to figure that point, that part out. So I will be experimenting again, because that's what I want to do, but I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, kind of regroup and what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna be doing a collaboration with a couple of artist friends. And um, yeah, wait for that, that should be kind of interesting. Well guys, I don't know what to say about this. Um, I did change up the formula ever so slightly. Um, I lessened, again, the um, Amsterdam paint and just put a little bit of the black paint in there with the Artist Loft black paint. But here we go. It's all stretched out. Okay. Okay, we'll forge ahead. We will figure this out. And guys, we'll talk to you soon. Take care.